is Prasad Naidu here from Lighthouse Insights. And today we have Sharmishta Mukherjee and Parag Gandhi from Fine Cursor. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey. Hi. How are things at your end? What's keeping you busy? Uh, that's a very loaded question. Uh, lots of work, uh, lots of pitches, uh, lots and lots of things keep us busy. Let's know a bit about you. Um, where did you grow up? How was your good old childhood days? I had a super childhood. My father was in the Air Force, so I have uh, pretty much grown up all over the country. Uh, I've grown up in places most people won't even have heard of. Uh, I've been to 13 schools in 12 years. Um, I studied in like Kendra Vidyalas all my life. Um, then I moved to Bombay to do architecture, realized I can't do architecture. Left Bombay, went to Calcutta to study, started working in Calcutta. So I've had a really interesting childhood with the, you know, with my father being in the forces, being in all these small places, traveling all across the country. So yeah, that, that's how I grew up. That's my childhood. And what about you, Parag? Uh, if you want to, you know, pitch in there, talk about a bit about your childhood. Where did you grow up? How was it? Any stories? Uh, so I grew up in Bombay. Uh, I lived in Bombay, studied in Bombay. Uh, uh, enjoyed the early days of early beautiful days of Bombay, which was like you know, uh, lots of uh, late night eating and roaming around uh, on streets, etc. Uh, I, I I really enjoyed that period of a time and my childhood to the young uh, age. Lo lots of sports, etc. Was was involved in that that period of time. Uh, lots of uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, public spaces which we used to explore. In that period of time, so I think that is what my memories of childhood are. Since so, Mr. you're a creative person. How did that journey begin? Uh, why creative? Uh, why not something else? I've been really lucky to have found what I love doing in the first shot. I think a lot of people go through most of their life trying to find what they really like, and I just stumbled into advertising by mistake. I went with a friend who was giving a copy test and I was like, okay, I, I don't have anything to do for three hours, can I also give a copy test? It was literally like that. I didn't know what advertising was. I didn't know what content was. I didn't know anything. I just walked into it. And I just, I mean, I've loved it from day one. And I've been in this in for so many years, but I've never ever felt, not a single day have I felt that, oh my God, this is a job. Oh, I don't like this. I just love it. You know, it's like, uh, I keep telling everyone who works with me, it's like acting. Every day you have a new role to play, you have a new assignment, you have new people to get to know, you have new things to learn, you have new things to find out. And I think by nature, I'm, I'm really curious, I'm interested in almost everything. I'm like a jack of all trades. I, I don't know anything like properly, but I know everything who I say because I, I really love knowing things. So I think, um, yeah, I think that's, that's really been the reason why I've been creative for so long and I never think of it as content or, or, or creative. I think of it as, I, I think of myself really always as, you know, how do I respond to things? What do I like? Do people talk to me about things that interest me? You know, you go to meet someone for the first time. How do you strike up a friendship with them? How do you find things that interest them? How do you find a common ground? How do you, how does that person want to ever meet you again or talk to you again or be your Facebook friend? I always think of it like that. So for me, it's really not content or creative. It's just how do I connect brands with people and people with conversations and conversations with us. I think it's just, I just, I love those connections. So for me, it's that. But uh, you have a very interesting, again, a similar uh, background thought process where you've been, again, involved with creative. Uh, would, you, would you like to share how did you, that happen? Or... Similar, I think, you know, mine was also like a by uh, fluke. Uh, I, in fact, it was, uh, it, if I actually tell you the story, so I was, one day I was in afternoon, I was sleeping in the house and my sister came and like, yeah, uh, elder sister came and like, she like just screamed at me saying, what the hell, you was sleeping at the three o'clock in the afternoon and so young, etc, etc. And she said, okay, just get up, you're going to go and I'm going to dump you in the computer class. So she put me in the arena multimedia and that's how I said, okay, whatever, and I started and that's how I got into some part-time job where we used to make GIF panels. And that was like the funniest, fun part, you know, like it was a part-time job, 3 to 3 o'clock we used to reach office, uh, till 7 o'clock we used to work in town, it used to be a through passing through this cow gully, so uh, we used to eat like everything on available on that street and walk on those GIF animated banners and this is like those dire days where all the things were like, you know, and we used to make some really crazy animations 
So it was a fun journey and it just started, started and then just, then we jo I joined a company called Media Club where <clears throat> I explored the, a lot more of a digital uh, arena. So, you know, it was a, again, a, it was a startup but the company was with, with a good amount of uh, great people, uh, which allowed us me, which allowed especially me to like you know explore what is digital uh, in terms of a design, in terms of in terms of a marketing mainly. And then you know I started working with BC Verwise where I explored the design part of it. Uh, so it was basically I got into it and then just learned over the period of a time and you know then Frankas happened and 